What is going on traders? Welcome to Blaze Stocks where I talk about my stock market observations and the plays I'm considering getting into in the coming days and weeks. Now, although I day trade periodically, my main focus is on swing trading. I do the majority of my stock market analysis using the weekly chart, the 30 SMA volume, and the MACD. Now, lately I've been focusing a lot on the information technology sector. So you'll see a lot of those tickers in my videos. When I switch sectors, I'll make sure I let you know. All right, now that I got that out of the way, let's take a look at the tickers on my watch list for the week beginning September 20th, 2021. Now, the first one on the list is going to be Palantir. Okay, so for Palantir, you can see here that it's been consolidating in this channel here for 30 weeks and it finally broke out this past week. It broke out with nice volume and then MACD is in positive territory. So all of these uh, criteria makes for a good trade in my opinion for me, for my system that I use. And I'll be looking for an entry if this price action continues and the volume stays high starting on Monday. And hopefully this uh, price action can continue and the volume can keep continue going upward and it can squeeze all the way up to near $40 by the end of the week. That'll be fantastic and that'll be a great trade. All right, so the next one I'm gonna take a look at is apps. That's Digital Turbine. Now you can see here that uh, we had some volume spikes a few weeks ago here. A very significant volume this week, a little bit of selling, and then more volume this past week. Now this one did not meet my criteria as of yet because the price action is still under the 30 SMA and the MACD is, has not crossed into positive territory, has not crossed up. So I'll be watching this. This might not happen this week. It might happen the week after next. Because, you know, you never know this price action. It could hit this 30 SMA and it could reject and go back down again. So I won't be entering this trade even though this looks good. I won't enter this trade until all of my criteria are met. All right. So put this one on your watch list to watch over the next couple of this week and next week to see if it does something good. All right, so the next one we're gonna take a look at is Texas Instruments, TXN. Now, Texas Instruments, it's a very old stock. How old is this stock? Let's see. So Texas Instruments been around since 1985. So this one's been around and as you can see here, it is never been as high as it is now so when it got to this area here let's zoom in a little bit more when it got to this area here around 197.30 it went back down a little bit and it started consolidating in this channel for weeks and it finally broke out so it broke out here so this is something that I'm interested in and you can see it broke out on significant volume, but the MACD has not crossed into positive here. It's positive here, but it's not positive crossing up over the signal line. So this is what I'll be watching for. There's a psychological level of 200 here. Now, if this one continues to run and it breaks through 200, it'd be interesting to see how far this one will go, but this one's something that I'll be watching in the next week in a week or so and hopefully it can continue this positive trend like this all right the next one we want to take a look at is vonage vg now vonage let's back up a little bit so okay vonage as you can see here it's been going up and down up and down over the last few weeks but it spiked up here on a lot of volume on some news that they were possibly going to be bought out. So that news pushed the stock up 
pretty good last week. Now, if I zoom all the way out, this stock has been around since 26, uh, 2006, and the highest it's ever been is 17.25. So, if this stock can get to 17.25 and break it with this rumor of this buyout hanging in the wings. It could continue to push higher. Now, if it pushes through here, and let's say hypothetically, uh, it breaks through here, and then they announce that the company is going to be bought out for twenty bucks a share, you could hypothetically buy what an October fifteenth option on this one. By October 15th, maybe one out of the money, maybe the $17 strike, and ride this all the way up to 20 bucks, and that would be a lovely payday. So keep this one on your watch list and watch for the news on this one. All right, so I think I have one more bullish one that I'm watching, and that's Qualys. All right, so Qualys, so you'll see a little theme here. I look for a lot of stocks that are consolidating. So, okay, so you can see here, this one's been consolidating for quite a while, and it broke out like a month ago, so I'm a little late to this one. So I did not get into this trade because I just came across it, but I'll be watching it in the future because it looks like it may start consolidating again right here. So you can see here, so it met all of my criteria. It broke out of a consolidation here. It retested here. And it continued higher on some volume, not awesome volume, but some volume. And it crossed above the MACD. So I would have probably gotten into this trade. If I zoom in a little bit more here, I probably would have had my stop loss right about here. So I would have got stopped out after I got into this trade. And then when they retested and it got above again, I would have got back into this trade. All right. So that's that one. That's Qualys. All right, so I've given you a few bullish ones. So let's take a look at one bearish one that I've been looking at, and that is, which one was that? I think that was TTMI. Was that? Yeah, this is another one that I missed. So you can see here, it broke below the 30 SMA, retested, it came down it's still going down so it's crossed below a lot of selling volume here so this one probably can go lower but since I missed this move I don't want to get in here chasing this when the next resistance could be here at 1265 or it could fill the gap all the way down to close to $12 now this one here The options are trash, so I wouldn't even do options on this one. I wouldn't do put options on this one. And the stock is cheap enough, so if you want to, uh, if you can, you can consider this one as a just shorten the stock. You know, the regular way, if you want to do that. All right. Now let's let's look at one more bearish one that that may go either way, and that's McAfee. All right, McAfee recently IPO'd not too long ago and it was on a good little run here it was heading up heading up and sure enough when the stock was all the way up here at twenty seven dollars and seventy five cents they decided to announce an offering the offering selling at twenty two dollars a share so of course this sold off sold off hard past twenty two dollars on a lot of volume MACD crossed down but the following week, a lot of selling, uh, a lot of buying volume came in. But as you can see, it ended, it ended with a doji. So this could go either way. It's still sitting on the 30 SMA. So this could go either up or down. So this is one that you might want to take a look at and watch what happens this upcoming week. If the market continues to sell off, like the rumors that are passing around are saying, if the market continues to sell off, this one could 
easily sell off even more. It could sell off all the way down to $16. Now that's extreme. It might not go down that far, but it may go down. So just take a look at this one and keep this one on your watch list. Maybe you can put some puts on this one, maybe 30, 60 days out. Protect yourself from theta and write it down. So, and that is the last ticker that I'm going to talk about today. If you found value in this video, please considering, consider giving it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now. If you don't have a trading account or you're looking for an additional one, check out Webull. Right now they're running a promotion where you get a free stock value between eight and $2,000 if you sign up for an account. And if you make a direct deposit of any amount, $1, $2, $5, you'll get an additional free stock value between eight and $2,000. Sounds like a pretty good deal. So if you're interested, the link is listed in the description. And uh, thanks again for watching.